Hello everyone! We're greeted by this sexy, well-pixelated painting. Picture. Better. We're gonna grab this wheel. Welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 2, Part 4. Will you leave the valve handle? Yeah, I'll take the valve handle, thank you. And I'm gonna... Check what's in here. Nope! Goodbye! That was startling. That's so cool how they implemented that. Bye, fuckers. Let's see, there's this helicopter crash. A water pressure valve. It reads, excessive pressure may rupture the water tank. <laughs> oh, I know how to do that now. Oh, it doesn't disappear? I don't like that. Well, if that's the case, then I guess I'm gonna have to use this stuff. The helicopter's a complete wreck. Oh, so it's handgun bullets. I just overused a bunch of medicine for nothing. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go fight off those zombies and uh, try to figure out what's in that uh, continuing room off of that one vicinity. Oh, she's like, oh, my boyfriend! How could you kill my boyfriend? Come on, sugar lips. It's too dangerous to go back outside. Why? You're not even gonna let me have a run for my money? That's terrible. So I guess that was just to emphasize on a barrier or whatever, like an excuse to not let you go. Oh, you bastard. You. That one's for Uncle Tom. I make past this creepy place. Yep, I was right. It does lead down. It is a shortcut. Uh, both of these shortcuts kind of necessary. Like the emergency ladder, they're quite close. This one, the emergency ladder. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, it's right there. Ooh, you bastard. Who was grabbing my gears? Oh, and the helicopter smashed into here, eh? Oh, what's this? Art room? There should be something, uh, like a key item in here. A hole about the size of a fist. Yeah, and of course. Yeah, since the diamond one, yeah. See, I wanna... I wanna go back to one of those chests and, uh... And, uh, switch my stuff. Get rid of this stupid crank and this stupid wheel. And, uh, our valve, I mean. How silly that I would call it a wheel. Uh... Yeah, and get those gems. Oh, okay, so there's a place right over here. Forgot about this place. Yeah, Virgin Heart. Another Virgin Heart. Puzzles are so stupid. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but yeah. That's bosoms, though. This is another precinct key? Oh no, it's a kin plug. Ink ribbon. That was completely serendipitous. I searched over here and I just found an inexplicable ink ribbon. Now what's this painting about? It's been neglected and covered with dust. Oh no. I wonder what you'd see if like you brush it off. Be like a picture of a naked lady or something. Or something really creepy, more likely. I think I've, we've actually uh, done a lot of progress. Don't worry, I'm not ending the episode right now. Oh, hey, <laughs> I picked up some some more ink ribbons. I'm all set. But I think we're going to save. Then we're going to open up some uh, diamond doors. Now let's consult the map here. No diamond doors up here. No, on the third floor. Aha, the purple ones are diamond doors. So there is one to the left. And downstairs. You know, I think I want to avoid that exceptional liquor enemy. So yeah, I guess I'll, I'll go the uh, top way here.
Not that I'm scared of him, just, you know, for sake of strategy. And making sure. Oh god, I forgot about these guys. This is this a dead end? I'll give him an inch. Mother, you. Good, Leon. Jesus. Don't have any goddamn meds on me. us here. No, that information looks useful. Okay, so basically that room was meant to screw you over if you go the wrong way. Okay, that's one thing I don't like about Resident Evil. It has aspects of luck in it. And as an unlucky person, I don't like that. Is there more medication in here? in this room here. I'm trying to find medication for God's sake. It's going to be sealed from the other side. What does that imply? What's going on in there? Chest. Do I have any meds in here? Alright, I have a green herb. And a square crank. Shotgun shells, not quite useful yet. I haven't found the shotgun itself. Duh. Yeah, perhaps a square crank will be useful soon. Call it an intuition, but yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll use the ink ribbon. Ooh, no, never mind. Yeah. If I'm good at all, I'll be good like this.
Alright. So there's a little shortcut spurred on by the uh, diamond key. I just hope it isn't full of Zams. Probably is. Yeah, I was just about to say probably is before I even came in here. Well then, let's check the map. So that room is the alternative to uh, the room with the, the liquor. As well as the room... Yeah, just that long hall. Alright, well, I'll break the liquor's presence in exchange for not having to go through that horde of the goddamn strong ass zombies. You know, they wanted to fend off the zombies. Uh, why do they leave the lights on? That's why I wanted to know. Like, I guess the high train and and common sense have nothing to do with each other these days. Get away from me, you fool. Now, is this room open now? Or is, yeah, the guy I locked from the inside. So that's just the uh, dramatic remembrance room. Yeah, so let's check if this one door opens over here. Yeah, because I don't think I've made it to the end of this hall, no. Nope, I'm like completely out of ammo entirely. Oh my god. Oh dear. Gonna have to brave the distance. Look here, I'll channel him over to the one side of the hall. I'm afraid that might not be a possibility. There it is. There's my getaway. Ooh, this one's uh, more desperate. All right, thank God there isn't anybody over here. Hopefully the knife does more in this one. Ooh, you... You witcher canuck. Ooh, I think this might be it. Yep. I do say. Yep. Oh dear. Again, with the cheesy zombies ate my neighbors, you died.
You know what? I think that may be it for this episode, folks. So long, and see you next time on Let's Play Resident Evil 2. I'm your host, Marble Jester. Bye-bye.